To test bipolar transistors using a Chinese DVM, the first thing is to determine if it is an NPN or PNP transistor. This is done by placing the selector knob in the diode test position. It is necessary to make sure of the polarity of the probes, otherwise we would get any consistent results. First, imagine that the transistor behaves as if it were two diodes in series. With both cathodes together, as is the case with an NPN transistor. For a PNP transistor, the equivalent would be both anodes together. With the meter set for diode test, we put the red test probe in the transistor's middle terminal and the black test probe in the left terminal of the transistor. Suppose a figure within this range appears on the meter display. This indicates we may be dealing with an NPN transistor. Since by placing the negative, black, test probe on the left terminal of the transistor and the positive test probe on the transistor's middle terminal, the screen showed us we were in an NP junction. Next, we leave the red test lead in the transistor's middle terminal, and we now connect the black test probe to the right terminal of the transistor. If the screen displays a number in the same range as the previous one, we can conclude that we have an NPN transistor with an EBC or CBE terminal configuration. A zero reading will indicate a short-circuited transistor. If none of the previous tests showed any number within the range of 600 but an infinite reading, we must perform the tests again. This time reversing the test leads of the meter. That is, we put the black test probe in the middle terminal of the transistor and use the red probe to touch the other two terminals. If this renders satisfactory readings, we can conclude that we are dealing with a PNP transistor with an EBC or CBE terminal configuration. If we still do not get any satisfactory readings, we can try connecting the red probe of the meter to the left terminal of the transistor and now touch the black probe to the middle terminal and then to the right terminal of the transistor. If we now get readings in the range of 600, we will know we are dealing with an NPN transistor with a VCE terminal configuration in order to detect a PNP transistor in this case. We will have to repeat the test reversing the test probes of the meter. We can now proceed to the beta test, which is an approximate measure of the amplification factor of the transistor. The meter must have a socket to accept the transistor terminals in order to perform this test. This time the selector knob is placed in the HFE position. Using the data collected above, Insert the transistor terminals in the polarity and configuration sequence we have determined. And a figure will be displayed on the meter screen, showing the amplification factor of our transistor. I hope this video has been useful to you. I invite you to subscribe to my channel.